Good afternoon. Today we are attending the Risk and Compliance Europe platform, which is actually focusing on RegTech. Next to me is Samuel Remakle. He is one of the representatives of the IT consulting company GS Belgium. Welcome. Today you had a very nice lecture and therefore we, we just want to elaborate a bit on that. Can you uh, first uh, give us some in insights? How do you highlight the main benefits of your joint proposal with Data? First of all, they uh, want to uh, reduce the volume of false positives, the number of alerts that are being uh, generated by their AML or sanction screening solution. Second, they want to um, improve their detection capabilities. Uh, the third thing is they want to reduce the cost of uh, daily operation, daily investigation, because if you have too many alerts to investigate, obviously this has a, a cost associated to that. They also want to prioritize the work of their investigator towards high-value um, alerts or high-value cases, let's say. And they want to speed up the knowledge transfer between our teams and their teams because ultimately it's really about accompanying the customer in their journey and uh, give them, giving them also some level of autonomy so that they are able to um, carry on the work and to um, uh, be autonomous in doing so. And the third thing, sorry, the last thing is to uh, actually um, uh, do the periodic reviews of their models because like the compliance is not a static environment mm -hmm. it changes there are new regulation there are new products new channels uh, so they want to be able to actually uh, run uh, th that review of their model uh, periodically and uh, they want to uh, do so to be in line for with the new changes that appear in their uh, environment let's say like that mm. Okay, so what are the, the changes in the approach if you compare it with other vendors? Yeah, absolutely. So, well, when it comes to the actual providers of, uh, let's say, AFC solutions uh, that are providing the AML transaction monitoring or the sanction screening solution, um, uh, if you go to them and ask them, well, I need to optimize uh, my detection, my, uh, my AML transaction monitoring detection or my sanction screening detection, what they will do is they will provide you with some tools, but uh, they won't actually actually um, address the main challenges that the financial institutions are facing when it comes to these types of projects. So they, the first challenge that they want to address is about the, the mix of, of resources and skill sets because um, uh, the trend is that the actual software providers, what they will do is they want to concentrate their people on developing the software, on developing the product, and they uh, typically leave the professional services associated to that to third parties because it's not their core business, right? So, and then there is a gap to fill in there because um, uh, so the vendor doesn't have those types of resources. The uh, financial institution maybe don't have them, and actually uh, most of them don't have them because it's a very specific type of mix or a very specific mix of skill set mm -hmm. that you need. You need people that know about compliance, you need people that know about AI, and you need people that know about technology. Mm -hmm. So uh, at JS, we have actually that experience in providing uh, those type of uh, resources with that skill set and experience in running that type of project. They won't also actually, um, the uh, typical vendors, they won't um, uh, focus on the knowledge transfer so because they uh, see that as a one-shot project they won't accompany uh, um, sorry they won't um, carry the customer with them um, uh, towards a journey where they can be autonomous okay. and they won't actually cater for periodic reviews oh, well that was very insightful thank you so much and uh, thank you for having uh, you here thank you very much okay.